good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching, whenever you're watching. And my name's Tim from Libanus Church, and we're moving, it seems, ever closer to Christmas, uh, the big day, uh, when we fill our faces with turkey and stuffing and all of the trimmings. And I want to just suggest that we might give our attention to think about giving. Um, giving is a time, or Christmas is a time of giving, when we give to uh, and we receive presents from each other. It's a tradition, even if we don't believe it in Jesus, and um, people still do it. The Bible talks a lot about giving. Jesus talks about a lot of, about giving and the gift, um, the value of the gift, who the gift comes from, what it means to us. This is something Jesus said to a woman who was um, came out every day to fetch water from a well. He said, if you knew the gift of God and who it is that is asking you for a drink. You would have asked and he would have given water, living water. It's a remarkable thing to say, isn't it? A water that wells up to eternal life. Um, well, a lot of the presents that we give, most of them will just come and they'll go. Maybe years time there, batteries will have run out, they'd have been put away of the next and the latest gadget or the latest game. This season's fantasies of what will excite and thrill don't last often more than a few months. And sometimes those things that were old, those socks that we enjoy, are put to the back of the drawer. To get old and dusty and moth-eaten. But Jesus said that he's come that we would have life and life in abundance. It reminds me of another verse in the Bible that says this, The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life, and this life is in his Son. See, the Bible tells us that the greatest gift is the gift of Jesus to this world. It's the greatest gift because it comes from the greatest giver, God himself sent his unique son into this world so that as many as believe on him would have everlasting life. It's the greatest gift because it is the gift beyond comparison. Jesus himself. It's the greatest gift because it's the gift given with the greatest measure of love. Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his son. It's the greatest gift because Jesus knew the cost of coming into this world, a cost of living a life of relative poverty, dying on a cross for the sins of those who would put their trust in him. It's the greatest gift because it most benefits those who receive him. This is what the Bible says, to all that received him, he gave the right to become children of God. This Christmas, receiving Jesus, accepting his plan, his purpose, means that you would have your sins forgiven, that you would know him, and if you know him, you know life. You see, Jesus is not just for the those who, who live at a specific time. Jesus is not just for the children. Jesus is not just for the older folks. Jesus was given so that all who would receive him would have everlasting life. You know, in our lives, we live with this principle of death all around us because our relationship with God is broken. But the gift that God gives of his son, the Lord Jesus, is that we would have life, a relationship mended. And because of that, we might know his presence and his power at work in this life, but also in that to come. Well, thanks for listening and we pray that you would have a blessed Christmas.